have to be to do this to your house. This is absolutely nuts, okay? Think about the amount of energy that this guy is consuming. And then look at this house. Can you imagine living there when this guy's doing this? And you live there and he's doing this. Can you imagine being the child that used to live in this house and you come home for Christmas and you say, hey sis, did you see what mom and dad did to the house? I feel like I'm gonna get electrocuted if I even walk up there. But this is just awful. This is my new condo. It's the worst condo I've ever seen. I've been in this business now for the better part of a decade and um, this is the worst condo I've ever seen. 411. Call 411. So here we are inside my condo. It's like a goddamn tomb. There's concrete everywhere. And I have one light in the entire condo. Well, okay, if you count that one, right by the door. In my lovely bathroom. In all its glory. Check out the craftsmanship here. This is the uh, laundry room. Check that out. Does that look even to you? On this side, you've got about an inch and a half here. And on this side, you've got about a quarter of an inch. This should be flush against here. I mean, it just, it just is such awful, awful craftsmanship. So pointing out the positives, great cupboard space on this goddamn door that won't open. Gotta love exposed concrete. Oh, yeah. So can we fit a kitchen, a living, and a bathroom in 300 square feet? I sure hope so. So let's do this, okay? Let's take a kitchen wall on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this table here, okay? Bear with me. And I'm going to move it against this wall and push it right into the corner. So what this is going to be is a good representation of the counter space, the cupboards. And I know that this is a little bit wider, but don't forget, you're swinging open your stove and you're swinging open your dishwasher. So over here, on one side, you're going to have your dishwasher, you're going to have your counter space, you're going to have your microwave, you're going to have your oven, and you're going to have your fridge. And all of these things are going to be tiny, teeny little miniatures, because that's what you get when you buy a smaller condo. Everything's like, 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 like munchkin size, like you open up your tiny little dishwasher, and you put in your one little plate, okay? So what if you go park or something, and take a measuring tape, and square out 300 square feet, and see what it's like? Here I have a cake. You can buy this cake for $5. You can have this cake right now. You can be eating it in several seconds. Here I have cake mix. You can buy this cake mix for $5. You can take this cake mix home with you. You can go and get it in a bowl and get out some spoons and get out some eggs and some water and you can put it in a pan and you can bake it. And you can wait a couple hours and then in a couple hours you can have cake. So let's review. You can have this cake for $5 right now. You can be enjoying it in seconds or you can spend three hours baking a cake. If you ask me, the parallels to the pre-construction industry are obvious. In pre-construction right now, where the prices are level with resale, you can buy your condo and you can be moved in within 30 days, or for the exact same price, because prices have become level, don't kid yourself, you can buy a pre-construction condo and you can wait three years and then you can take possession and forget about all the crap that you have to deal with with occupancy and with paying an occupancy fee and dealing with construction and dealing with defects and dealing with no amenities. Forget all that for a second and just think about the $5 cake or the $500 per square foot for your condo versus the $5 cake mix or the $500 per square foot for your pre-construction condo. Ladies and gentlemen, it no longer makes any sense and I have been saying this for so long but maybe unless I talk in cake terms, people aren't listening. 